clinical drum labels are used for identifying and tracking chemical components in large containers such as a powder coated metal drum or a plastic polyethylene drum. Primary print technologies used in chemical drum labeling are monochrome laser and monochrome thermal transfer printing. Because of changes in GHS coming along, there will be a third technology and that is inkjet used for on-demand. So GHS, or Global Harmonized System, is a standard for labeling chemical drum labels. It's been around for many years, it's been rolled out in multiple countries already. Of importance in the U.S. is December 2015, where those changes uh, become implemented. The main difference is there will be multiple colors on the label, being black and red. Uh, the importance of that is technologies, so on-demand inkjet will be important, color laser will be important, and then having dual color thermal transfer printing will also be important. So BS5609 relates to IMDG or International Maritime Dangerous Goods. And what that is, it's a test to make sure that the label and print remain intact on a container if it's submerged in water. There's two primary parts to it. Uh, section two, where the material is actually immersed in the English Channel for three months, um, brought up and uh, ensured that it remains intact on the container. The third section, which is typically performed by the converter, is the print test. So print is performed, it's submitted, and then when it comes back again, make sure that the print remains intact and legible on the container. So an important topic now because of the changes coming on in GHS. Over the next one and a half years, there'll be a complete change in how the labels will be printed and potentially who is printing the labels. So if you have chemical drum labeling business now, you have to understand the standards that are going to be put in place. Or if you're trying to get into the business, again, it's important to understand the requirements.